Hello Pop Chopkins and today in this video I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favorite Pop Tropica soundtracks. This video is simple. Each soundtrack in this video must be Pop Tropica related and can be anything from background music in an island to a mean theme. The soundtracks that I picked are going to be the ones which I enjoy listening to the most. Without further ado, let me begin this video. Starting off this list, we have a song that everyone who plays Pop Tropica will definitely recognize, especially if you use the island map a lot as this is the song that always plays. This song has an upbeat vibe and an orchestrated like tune with Trumpets, horns, and flutes, accompanied with the violin played quite sharply and fast. There's a lot of different melodies in this track as it can be a ton of orchestra-like instruments playing all at once to just the solo low sharply played violin. Oftentimes it's the violin and one more other instrument. Anyway, I feel like this song was a pretty decent choice to have as the song that plays on the island map because it gives a bit of that adventurous like vibe as it is like you're traveling around the world on a blimp and searching for an island to play. The song is fitting for giving that vibe. This song is mainly split into two parts. One is the low octave electric piano that plays for about 16 seconds and the other is the traditional French accordion that plays for the remainder of the song. This song does many things well. I like the nice mellow piano as it is quite comforting to listen to and the French accordion part really made it feel like my Pop Tropkin was actually in Paris, or at least France. Especially how this song is played in the 1882 era where the Statue of Liberty was being created in France, the song's tune and genre really fits the place well. Well, the login page is no more as now it's become this for some reason. Before it was this, and when we had this login page instead, that was where the song would play. Also, the song used to be played in the home island, but now it's replaced with a different one. So in all actuality, the current Pop Tropica does not have this song play in any of its locations, which is kind of sad because I liked this song. For the first 15 to 20 seconds of the song, it starts off with a calming and peaceful like melody. The sound of it kind of being played by like a celestial xylophone. Then at around 20 seconds into the song, it changes to a flute being the main sound and a string instrument, quite possibly a harp, played in the background. Then after a drum transition happens where the flute and harp sound are changed to a sort of tribal aboriginal flute. I'm not really sure what the instrument is, but I feel like it's aboriginal something. That plays for a short bit until a steel xylophone plays, going from high notes to getting lower. Then for a bit, all the instruments combine with the flute being the main tune. Then the instruments change into a heavy violin playing with a trumpet as the background. Soon after, a mellow play transition happens which switches the trumpet to the flute. After that, the song goes into a slow violin and trumpet orchestra. And then finally a single note flute plays the ending of the song and begins a new loop with the xylophone. This song is quite an interesting one. This song is not like some background to a location or a main theme of an island or something. Instead, 
This song is played in a very small area in Virus Hunter Island. Just talk to this Pop Chopkin here with the radio and the song will start to play. Just make sure you stand near him after you talk to him as moving away from him will cause the song to stop playing. And even more interesting, the song will always be playing alongside the Virus Hunter Islands theme. So the only way how you can actually listen to this song without any other noise is by either going to the Pop Chopka help blog, clicking on Pop Plus, clicking on Behind the Scenes, then look for Techno Jam. Or by playing Dr. Hare's Revenge and going on Zone 4 in Pop Tropica World. Despite all of this, I included Techno Jam in this list because I really found it to be a pretty catchy song. It has a lot of that EDM computer-like sound and mainly gives off more of a digital-like vibe. This song is the most unique song out of all the songs in this list as it sounds quite different. This song seems like the song to be made by like a DJ or EDM artist which seems fitting considering this song is called Techno Jam. A jam of technology packed into one song. Ah, uh, a nice classic, brings back old days kind of feel. This song is entirely played by only a piano, one of my favorite instruments, and it is lovely. The song does a great job of giving the vibe of the location it's played in. The time of Thomas Edison, 1877. Many of the great piano classic songs like Fur Elise, Flight of the Bumblebee, Entry of the Gladiators, Genopida, and more were all written somewhere near this time and the Edison's workshop theme sounds like it is a great classic piano song as it is the background music of a place in 1877. With that, the song has a cheery vibe. When I listen to the song, I feel like I'm in some rich house back in the 18th century with there being a piano man playing this very song. This song also feels like the song that a dancer, specifically a ballerina, would dance to. Similar to something like Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Now this song here is the definition of boss music. It's epic. It's thrilling. It's intimidating. And boy intimidating. It is because this song is the background music of one of the most intense and scary boss fights in Pop Tropica. You, a Pop Tropican, are fighting against a literal god, Zeus. One human versus one god, and that is just bound to be terrifying. And this song captures that terrifying feel very well. This song is both horror and action combined together. The fight between Zeus is, like what I said before, very terrifying and the loudly played trumpet, the aggressively played violin, and the air sounding like drum cymbal all play their part in giving the song a feeling of that Zeus is a very powerful monster and evil. And for the action part, the song gives off the vibe of you being some hero meant to save the day and that the scary, intensely sounding song is like Zeus is this grand villain that must be stopped and that also he is very hard to stop and trying to defeat him will be no easy task and would be a challenge of a lifetime. Overall, this song is great because it manages to be horror and action brought into one song.
So let's take a break and talk about a song that is the complete opposite of number 5 on the list. The Mop Tropica theme song. This song is a relaxing, slow paced song and also a nice sounding one as well. The song has quite a lot of instruments used. Instruments such as an xylophone, a metal xylophone, a trumpet, a flute, a violin, an ocarina, and even a lightly strummed guitar which is played around 25 seconds into the song with the flute. The atmosphere that the song gives is like a mellow soft tone and I feel like I'm looking at the bright sky with lots of energy and I feel like I am at the beginning of a great journey with my Pop Tropican. My favorite part of this song has to be the 30 second mark where the violin plays for a bit then acts as an excellent transition where the metal xylophone plays three amazingly placed high notes. The violin in that bit is so grand and uplifting like when hearing it. It gives me the feeling that something big is happening and those three high notes after were beautifully placed and spaced out. The spacing of those notes were enough to leave a rush for me and were not too slow nor too fast. Here are the words that can describe this song. Motivational, uplifting, inspiring, powerful, energy boosting, moving, captivating, and much more. This is the song that someone would play while working out or doing something physical or active. When listening to this song, seriously, I feel like I can move a mountain or break rocks. The song just gives so much energy and feel to it. And especially how this is the main theme of Pop Dropless Games, the theme fits very well to the topic of the island of Pop Dropless Games. Pop Dropless Games is an island where you represent a tribe of your choosing by competing in the Pop Dropless Games, which happens every 100 years. During the Pop Dropless Games, you take part in many challenges and games which are all athletic and physical in a way, with the main objective being to place as high as you can after every game. Like, this song fits so well in giving that energy, that drive to push forward and become number one and represent your tribe. I love the aggressive violins that play in the beginning. I love the horn, I love the drums in the background, and I especially love the flute. The flute in this song is the instrument that makes me feel the most like I am flying or accomplishing something great. This song manages to make me feel both energized and relaxed at the same time. I feel good when listening to this song. No, really good when listening to this song. But I am also at peace as well. The main reason why this song makes into the number 2 spot on this list, out of many other of the Pop Tropica soundtracks, is because of its ability to be a slow moving peaceful song, but at the same time, make me feel strong, alert, and full of energy. The floguera is the main instrument that plays in the first half of the song, and boy is it beautiful. Accompanied with a string instrument, most likely the harp, the first half of the song consists of a peaceful floguera and harp composition. The second half is really where the energizing part comes in. Heck. I am still energized by the first half, but basically the second half is the same as the first, except the floguera is replaced with a trumpet, and the harp is replaced with drums. 
the reason that this half is energizing is because it sounds something like a national anthem of a country or sounds like something played for uplifting and motivating people. The trumpet sound gives so much more of that vibe and atmosphere of I won something or I'm about to conquer the world, something like that. Mythology Island is one of my favorite islands in Pop Tropica and having this be the song that plays in the main street was a great decision. The beauty of Greece can be portrayed with the slow part of the song and the powerfulness of the gods is where the fast part comes in. Honestly, well done to Jeff Hyde for composing this song. Pop Tropicans, you thought number 5 was the best boss music? Well, this song, Pop Tropicans, is truly one of a kind. Out of all of the other Pop Tropica soundtracks that I could choose from, Train Finale B truly deserves its number one spot on my list. There is not a song in Pop Tropica that can top this one. Train Finale B is the song that really gets my heart beating fast. There's just something that is so intimidating about the fast playing piano in this song. Something that just pumps the adrenaline and gives that feeling. That feeling of rush. It ki it's kind of hard to explain why I love this song so much, but I'll try. There are really only two instruments in this song. One is the aggressively played violin, and the other is the piano. Honestly, I think I can say aggressively played piano because the piano is played quite fast and sharp. Anyway, those two instruments are blended together so, so well, and each play a simple yet key role in the song. The aggressively played piano is the main sound of the song, and the aggressively played violin is sort of the background. The violin does get one or two parts where it's the main sound, but it's mainly the piano. The piano does a beautiful job of creating the vibe of thrill. Out of all of the instruments, the piano when played fast and sharply is most thrilling. It creates the sense of no escape and that we are in the midst of finally getting something as this is the song that plays when you are crashing Dr. Hare's rocket into meteors. Train Finale B is the perfect song for the situation. You are in control and the mercy of Dr. Hare is all in your hands. That's what I mean when I say in the midst of getting something. You are just about to defeat Dr. Hare. And in fact, you practically did at this moment. Dr. Hare in that rocket is hopeless as there is almost nothing he can do to get himself, to get himself out. All he can do is watch his rocket fall apart. That's why Trade Finale B is number one. Now that's the end of this video. Now before I end this video, I'd like to take a moment to thank Jeff Heim for making all of the Pop Tropica soundtracks. One of the purposes of this video is to highlight some of Jeff Heim's best work and honestly, his best work is seriously best work. I am glad Pop Tropica is such a person who can make great Pop Tropica songs and now for the viewers, please check out Jeff Heim's SoundCloud because for the things he did at Pop Tropica, he deserves some good recognition for his music and if you have a SoundCloud account, please give likes and comments to Jeff Heim's songs so Jeff Heim can read them and feel happy and special for all the hard work he has done. Goodbye.